post midday continuous in high definition. Well, Patrick Byers joins us today from the University of Missouri Extension. Patrick, thank you so much for joining hey, me today. I appreciate it. And we're getting to, the, I guess, the point of the year where some plants and some weeds can start infiltrating a lot of our fields. Oh, yes. And, uh, the Ozarks is having some really serious issues with invasive plants, and it's not a new problem. I mean, we've been dealing with some of these plants for a long time, and the poster child, Multiflora Rose, and, mm -hmm. and Kudzu, and Johnson Grass, but we have some relatively recent problems that have arrived in the Ozarks, and okay. we have one here with us today, and this is a weed called Spotted Knapweed. Okay, but even what is an invasive plant anyway? Well, an invasive plant is a plant that comes in from somewhere else, okay. and it finds a niche, and because of its characteristics, it can cause lots of problems. Some of them crowd out native plants. Uh, others become an issue for, for us in our gardens, our lawns, like Bermuda grass. And, and some of them actually um, uh, can do some really unpleasant things. And this napweed is an example. It releases a substance from its roots that kills the plants around it. Well, that's not good. So that's not good, no. doesn't like other plants. It can't get along. Well, it can't get along, but very, very successful <laughs> plant from that standpoint. Okay, now, how did they even get here in the first place? Well, some of them came uh, deliberately. I mean, we deliberately introduced multiflora rose and kudzu and, and such. Others came by accident. And this is an example of a plant that came by accident. It came in from... Uh, from outside on, on hay and, and various ways like that. Okay, now why are they a problem? I mean, we've already talked about they kill some of the plants around Well, they're, they're a problem them. because they're so successful. Uh, and again, you know, if, if you're trying to, to maintain a pasture for, for cattle or whatever, and this plant arrives, it kills out your desirable grasses, and pretty soon all you have is spotted napweed. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a problem. Now, is there anything that anyone can do about it, or is it just kind of the things where you have to sit here and go, well, that's it. You, you have to tackle each, each problem on its own, and there's actually a, a weevil, a small insect, that feeds on the seeds of the spotted napweed. So now there's an effort to introduce this weevil to combat <laughs> the seeds on this plant. Now, where can we get them in bulk? <laughs> do we have to go to, like, exactly. Sands or something? <laughs> exactly. Well, not, not uh -huh. quite, but, uh, there, yeah, again, there's, there's research going on to establish weevil populations on the napweed. Okay, and where can people find more information on this? We have this? information available from the University of Missouri Extension website, which is extension.missouri.edu, or call the Green County office at 881-8909. Oh, Patrick, thank you so much. I appreciate it. it. Hopefully you get rid of that if it's a problem for you. And here's the latest recipe from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. All the summertime get-togethers going on, including the